Good morning, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command 66 Day Challenge 9.0, and today is day 50. So today we're going to look at a simple and easy way to add blog posts to your agent site as we continue our agent site training. And then we're going to jump into the design studio with some brand new options to customize the look and feel of your agent site as well. So let's go down to our last applet on the left hand side here. We're going to jump into websites. We're going to make sure we're in the My Websites tab and we're going to click on Edit Agent Site to sort of get in the simple editor, sort of my easy bake mode, if you will. We made these changes yesterday, if you'll remember, to the site. Today, we're going to come over to our navigation bar in the far left hand corner. We're going to click on this plus add content button. And when we do, you see we have the easy option of adding a blog post from this navigation screen here on the left hand side. So that blog post, the first thing it's going to do, it's going to ask you for a banner image. If we scroll down inside of our uh, current site, you can see what those banner images look like and where they would be located. So we could drop in that banner image and then we're going to need a headline and then a subheadline and then the body of the text. Now what I've seen a lot of agents doing is the simplest way most likely is to use something like Claude or ChatGPT um, and come up with some subjects that might be interesting for people looking to move or sell in your community. So simply go ask ChatGPT, what are the five main topics that people looking to move to Katy, Texas would want to know about the city? What are the five main topics that people were looking to sell in Katy, Texas? and you know help me write a blog post for each one of those and pretty simply and easily you would have content ready to go you could even go so far as to tell it i need a headline a sub headline and then body text you could even tell it how long you want the body text body text should be no less than four paragraphs um, you know talk about the tone there's a lot of great things that ai can do to help you write those blog posts and they're simply and easily posted with regards to your banner images you're going to want to either take those photos yourself or find copyright royalty free images or go purchase those images right just always make sure we've got the right to utilize the images that we're using um, what is it uh, pixels splash bay um, i think there's several other websites that are out there on the internet where you can either pay for a license or even get uh, copyright free royalty free also inside of designs if you'll remember back to our designs training there is a library of photos there as well that you could cross, you know, multi-purpose, if you will, download those from the design library and then use those for your blog post as well. So that's another option. Uh, but that's the quick and easy way for you to start adding blog posts. Now I'll show you when we get into expert mode, you can also add blog posts there. Uh, but inside of our simple editor, we've got the plus add content button to simple, simply and easily add a blog post to the site. Now, if we go back to back to add content and then click on this kind of artist palette button, the third icon down, this is our design studio. If you haven't been in agent sites recently, this may look new to you because it is sort of a recent upgrade. The first thing we've, we've actually got four decisions we would need to make. The first is, okay, overall look and feel of our site. Do we want it to be classic or do we want it to be modern? And you can see the main difference is that background color, right, between a simple white and light gray to more of charcoal and black. So which one of those two do you want to go with? Let's just start with classic. I'm gonna say edit the theme. And when we do, we actually get a series of colors that we can utilize. So right now, by default, we've got slate light, but you can see there's 11 different options that you could go through and decide based upon the colors and at any point, you could say, all right, let's do KW red light, save changes. Then I want to come over and I want to preview. All right, and that, um, I'm not sure if that took, because it certainly doesn't look like there's a lot of big changes there, but it might be a really simple change. So let's go in and say edit theme and let's do the mint light. That's a pretty big change. So save those changes and let's preview there. I'm not sure if the preview is working. It doesn't seem like it's making those differences. Let's see if View and Browser does that. Well, I don't see much green inside of here, so we'll have to look into that, but I'm pretty sure once you get those all selected and, oh, I bet it's because we didn't publish. Haha, <laughs> publish. 
Now let's go view and see if that changes it. There we go. Now we've got the green. So make sure you publish it. It looks like the preview isn't working, but once you publish, you can start to see it. And you can see it's pretty subtle, right? It's just some of the button colors, the bar at the top, that type of stuff. Um, so we'll close out that preview and that's the color choices. So our colors, we can also change the fonts. So would you like a different font to be utilized on your website? Maybe we want to go with Joost instead. So I'm going to save those changes. I'm going to publish. And then let's see what it looks like in the browser. And now the fonts should have changed, right? So it is, it's not in your face massive changes. And yet subtly, it can make your website stand out and look a little bit different than everyone else's website. The last option essentially we're going to edit theme is how you want the corners on all of your boxes. Do you want them rounded or pill like really rounded? Do you want them rounded? So slightly rounded or do you want them square? And you can see by default it's pill. Let's just say we want to do rounded. We're going to save those changes and publish. And then we're going to go view and browser. And we should see pretty quickly, right? This is probably the most noticeable. This was a really rounded pill. Now it's just slightly rounded. Um, you know, I think the, the majority of the boxes, that's probably the main one that's going to make the changes. Maybe slightly here on the contact form. So again, not massive changes. However, right, if you consider that you've got two different types, you've got classic or modern, and if we go to modern, right, it's the same choices. It's just going to be on a darker background versus a lighter background. But if you consider two different choices, <coughs> classic or modern, and then we've got, uh, what is it, 11 different choices of colors, five different choices of fonts, three different choices. It's 330 different options. I had to put that into chat GPT just to make sure. Um, a lot of different options. So does your website look like everyone else's? Or have you gone in and made some changes such that it stands out and looks a little bit different from everyone else's? This is your option to have... And again, we're going to get into even more customization when we get into expert mode and the ability to add things like, you know, a home valuation tool, a mortgage calculator, <clears throat> custom pages, things like that. But for right now, just an introduction to an easy way to add simple blog posts through the add content button, and then a simple way to make some subtle, unique design changes to your website to make it stand out. And that's it for today, guys. Tomorrow we're going to dive into expert mode, so stay tuned for that. As always, I hope you're having a fantastic day and I'll look forward to speaking with you again real soon.